Welcome to D-Lab everybody. This is Terry with a new product announcement for the shop. As you know, I work on a lot of tube type equipment and in that lineup is the Dynaco PAS preamps. These are pretty sought after units and unfortunately a lot of them are developing problems mostly in the power supply. So in the past to repair that I was using a nifty little board by a company called SDS Labs. Recently though they've been kind of hard to find and when you do find them they're really expensive so something's up there I don't know what's going on but I decided okay it's time for D-Lab to develop my own boards to support the effort and get these units through the shop more efficiently and that's what I've done. So I developed a board and it's called the PAS Plus. Why Plus? because it serves multiple functions. First, it replaces the chassis mount filter cap. Secondly, the selenium rectifier and standalone capacitors that provide DC for the 12AX7 tubes. Third, there is a fuse holder on this board and this fuse goes in line with the 120 volt input to the PAS. When this thing was originally designed, it did not have fuse protection. And fourth, and most important, there is a relay now that switches the high current to the rear switched outlets that go to your power amps, and that relieves the stress from this power switch on the front panel. Most of these units that come in here, that switch is fried because people put excessive load on those outlets, and it cooks it. And of course, that's a hard part to find. So in this video, I'm going to show you this board installed into the PAS. This is the first installation. I'm not going to go into great detail because I'm still refining an instruction sheet and eventually I'll be able to offer this board to you. Alright, so my board will mount on this stud which is currently supporting the selenium rectifier and these two electrolytic caps. So he'll sit about here and we'll move the transformer wiring onto it and the DC output will take back off underneath the chassis to feed the two circuit boards. Also the relay now will have some additional hot leads that go down to the switched outlets. Alright, let's get it installed and see how she looks. Alright, there's the first installation of the D-Lab PAS Plus board into this Dynaco preamp. Okay. And you'll notice right here there is a component missing. That is my half amp GMA fuse holder. Okay, the reason that's not there is this guy had already installed a chassis mount fuse holder to protect his newly installed power transformer. So I took his leads and swung them up into the location of my fuse holder. Other than that, this is 100% the D-Lab design. Here is another one of the boards ready for another PAS unit. So now when I plug in the PAS, obviously nothing happens until I flip on the power, but if you listen closely you're going to hear this relay pull in and you'll see the 120 volts on the meter. Here we go. And there it is. That is your high current switched power off the rear AC outlets for your dual Dynaco amplifiers or a single ST70. Alright, so real quick, let's put a signal through the preamplifier. Make sure that it has a clean sine wave and no noise, hopefully, present on the channel. So we're injecting on the left channel with my leader audio generator. The scope is monitoring that, and I'm on the special input. Let's bring her up. Is. Nice clean sine wave. Take her down. No noise or hum present when she's all the way down. So mission accomplished on the installation of the filter board. You do not want to rely on a mechanical ground point for the ground of the PAS circuit board. It needs to be direct soldered to the chassis. So make sure that you've got the proper soldering iron for the job. Alright, bottom side because my board has all the wiring swinging underneath of it, the stock wiring was not long enough. 
So this is all new wiring going up through the hole to my preamp board. Okay, you can extend wiring if you wish, but I always like to just go ahead and run new. If you look up here, you'll see the terminals of the old original filter cap are present, but nothing is wired to them. There's two reasons. I leave the main filter cap installed, so if you pop the hood, everything looks original. You don't see a big hole in the chassis. Number two, these original ground points are still being used. So I do not interrupt those. We only add the additional wiring for the new PAS circuit board. Well, so there you have it. Another very cool offering from D-Lab Electronics. This project, guys, has been in the works for like three years. I just finally got around to finishing it up and executing it and getting the boards produced. By the way, in case you guys are wondering where I get my circuit boards, I make these through a company called Pad to Pad. They have a free CAD program. You can draw up your boards, punch a button, and they're on the way. It's a great service. I really like these guys. Okay, So as of now, I'm offering installation of these boards at my shop. It is fairly complicated and I have not documented it fully. Okay, But if you feel as though you're up to the task, I'll sell you a board. Okay, but you then take the risk. I can provide a basic hookup diagram, but if you smoke it, can't help you. <laughs> so anyway, Here guys, I'm sure you can see I'm pretty excited about this project, and I hope you are too. I've got enough materials to build about 40 of the modules. So if you need one of these in your PAS and you want to ship it to me, let's, let's get it going. If you want a module, let me know and I will email you the cost. Thanks for tuning in.